In my previous video linked above, we looked at a simple way to overcome what I perceived as a minor shortcoming in the Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant. This was a lack of flap detents for the flap axis. We overcame this with a fairly simple design consisting of two parts. First, a finger lift catch which fit around the existing flap handle. And second, a flap rack insert containing the detents which could be inserted in an unused control axis adjacent to the flap axis. Our original design was for the Zebo Boeing 737 mod on X-Plane only. But soon after my video was posted I began to get lots of inquiries about how the system could be modified to be used with different aircraft and on different sim platforms. After a little research we realized that it was easier than we thought to create a system that would work with virtually every aircraft on every simulator. Besides the 9-slot Boeing 737 insert you saw in the previous video, we came up with three inserts that can handle almost all the non-Boeing aircraft on all the simulators. First we created a 3-slot insert as you see here which can be used on most of the aircraft including this Diamond DA-40. Three slots is the most common configuration especially on general aviation aircraft so by inserting the three slot insert into the adjacent unused control axis slot you can uh, set the flaps quite easily in any of the three positions. The labeling can change based on the aircraft in use the next most common configuration is the four slot insert. By inserting it into the unused slot, you can uh, match the flap positions on a number of aircraft, including the Cessna Longitude. Again, by using a simple label maker, you can uh, add labels uh, to mark the flap settings just exactly like in the actual aircraft, if you like. Adds a lot of realism to have that flap handle available with the detents. The next insert we made was the five slot insert. While not quite as common, it is uh, the configuration on the very popular the Airbus A320 Neo. And we wanted to make that available. Uh, a lot of people were requesting that. If you're going to use the flap axis handle, it's very difficult to hit those positions uh, right on unless uh, you have the detents notches to put the, uh, the handle in. With the uh, insert, it's quite easy to just place those in each spot. You can almost look away and just feel the notch as it drops in uh, without any real attention. So it's a great improvement. So as we review the uh, compatibility with the aircraft in uh, X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Simulator, looking at the three uh, slot, we'll review the airplanes here that this will work with. I want to tell you about the decision that Chuck and I made concerning uh, selling uh, uh, the uh, product as a uh, commercial product. The bids we got were quite high and once we decided that just one, uh, one uh, bracket wasn't going to do it, that we needed multiple inserts to really cover the swath, when we started quoting to have a number of uh, injection molding uh, molds made, it just got too expensive. Uh, really to be practical for us to, to do that and to carry the expense. So what we decided to do was to make these files available for you as um, as free downloads and you can have them 3D printed. You can see quite a broad swath of aircraft are covered under the three position which is the most common used uh, flap configuration. For the four position not quite as many but some key aircraft covered here of course uh, uh, the Cessna Longitude which I demoed before but also the uh, Caravan and all the smaller Cessnas have a similar configuration. All the aircraft I'm showing work without any adaptation but uh, should uh, some aircraft not meet exactly the uh, detent marks you could use FSUIPC for Microsoft Flight Simulator or uh, use the re control response curves for X-Plane to adjust those to make them hit perfectly. Now on to the five position aircraft. Of course the uh, Airbus is the uh, key one here. 
And the only other one that uh, currently is in the Microsoft Flight Simulator is the uh, Flight Designs Light Sport Aircraft. We also got a special request from uh, some uh, 727 SIM drivers for an 8 position insert, so we produced that uh, design also. And uh, of course, uh, the venerable 737 Zeba, which started the whole process. As I explained in the last video, the go around detents are slightly, uh, the teeth are slightly higher uh, to simulate the gates on the detent in the actual aircraft. While we were at it, we also created a um, design for a six and seven slot flap uh, insert, although we're not familiar right now with any aircraft that have that number. I'm sure there's some somewhere. So we went on and made that available. So if you'd like to download the files, you can go to our uh, website. It's at flapmodster.com. Contains some interesting information. There's a mailing list you can sign up for. And also, if you're a 3D printer and you'd like to provide the service, we're going to try to be a clearinghouse uh, to connect users with 3D printers. And we will uh, take samples and, and verify that the uh, quality is good before we uh, post them on our list. We won't be financially involved in any way. We'll just be connecting uh, uh, buyers with uh, with 3D printers and uh, you'll deal directly with them uh, and we'll offer no uh, no warranty but we will take a look at their work and before we post them uh, ascertain if they do a good job and, and they're usable. While the files are free for download we would ask that you don't uh, distribute them uh, commercially or to produce products for commercial use using the plans. It's just our way of saying thank you to the sim community for all that everyone else does and we hope everyone will pay it forward by contributing in their small way uh, to our sim community. You could do me a favor by liking uh, and sharing this and uh, subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. Also love your comments. I'm happy to read them and answer as many as I can. And I love the ideas you share with me. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.